Today we're going to talk about staggered stance squatting. So if a, if a normal squat stance is about shoulder width with my toes out a little bit, staggered stance is just offsetting my feet a little bit. So one is about half a foot length in front of the other one. Um, hopefully you can see that pretty well in this camera here. I just want you to squat down, squat up. It's very similar, right? Now, this one people run into problems because they try to make it a symmetrical squat and they try to stay really square and try to do everything that they can. So if if I if I'm squatting here, my hips should be facing this way, right? And if I take a step forward, if my hips keep facing this way, I'm going to run out of ankle mobility on this back leg really quickly. And I'm not going to be able to get very deep, but people don't feel like that is a squat. So they still try to go pretty deep and then they'll come off that back leg and they lose their heel contact there and they're not getting the muscles. They're not getting the positions that we're looking for. They're just jamming into the front of their ankle. So with a staggered stance, we have to let our, our headlights that are pointing at the road turn off the road a little bit, okay? Now I'm exaggerating that step, that would be a really uncomfortable staggered stance lift. Why would I do this? Well, this staggered stance offsets me, kind of breaks the mold that I'm used to with a bilateral position, a very symmetrical position, and it allows my brain to find patterns that maybe I've forgotten about. So the reason I would use this is if I have someone who comes in and they're struggling with not hurting while they're working out, maybe they got hip pain, maybe they got knee pain, whatever. If I need to re-educate them how to move, how to control their lower body, then throwing them back into what they know, especially if they're an experienced lifter, right? This will just, you know, generally these people are coming in and they look like this. And I don't like that squat. I, I watched some of my other videos, I talk about it a lot, but that position is not very healthy for most people, right? It's not a position of longevity of squatting. So I need to cue their hip position and totally change what they perceive is a squat. So you can use this to help do that. This is a totally different exercise than this. So consider using this offset or offset squat to, you know, help position your hips, help teach your joints how to move again, and even get a little loading effect. I like to do generally symmetrical number of reps. So if I'm uh, if I got my right foot forward, I might do ten here, and then I can switch and I can do ten here. If you think about it, that's about twenty squats. So that's a pretty long set you can let yourself fatigue pretty well with this, even if you're maintaining a really good position. So we talked about offsetting the feet, letting your headlights turn towards the other side. I can still face forward, and then I get this little rotation component to this. So I learn how to manipulate my body in these different situations. People get really hung up on, you know, if I'm, if I'm doing my squat, I got to you know, step and I got to find my stance and what stance is perfect. Okay, this one's perfect. So I'm going to put a chalk outline right here and right here so I don't lose my stance position and don't use my rack. I need to use this. You are controlling too many things. You are trying to control too many things. And even if you're a power lifter, you're never going to be able to control all of those things in your event, right? So why would you train that way? It's making you more fragile for your event because you don't know how to deal with other things. It's just like somebody getting upset for somebody walking in front of them while they're squatting. Well, yeah, stuff goes on. Life goes on without you, right? So you still need to be able to block out these distractions. Try not to be so sensitive about what you're controlling and learn to just go with the flow. So again, we're turning these hips. I can get this little rotation. I can teach my body to contort in different ways. And then I load my legs from there. If you're getting knee pain or ankle pain in the back leg, make sure you're cueing the hips to turn back toward the back leg more, okay? Um, I have one lady who is not very good at loading this heel here. So she likes to uh, keep her adductor there. No, it's this way. She's not very good at loading her heel back here. So she lets herself turn too much 
away from this. So she never actually loads the glued on the backside like I'm looking for. Okay, so keep an eye out. Your, your knees should be angled just like your hips are angled, right? And then you can still face forward. So that is the offset squat. That's more than you ever needed to know, right? Uh, if you have any more questions about it, just leave them in the comments below.